Now let us talk about global variable. Before that, let us quickly recall what we have done uh, to define a local variable. So we have used the syntax dollar and in curly braces name of variable equals. We have used set variable function and then the value. Uh, here we have used string as a value and when we were logging it, we were simply using the log function and then the name of variable. So now we need to make this variable uh, global so that we can use it in test case two without even defining it. So I'm trying to use local variable one. Uh, without even uh, making it global. So I see that one of the test cases passed and one failed. If I check the log here, it, sh it shows me that TC1, test case one is passed. Test case two is failed. And uh, due to the reason, variable var one not found because we have not uh, made it global or we have not yet passed it or we have not uh, actually defined this variable. So the scope was not there for test case two. So if we uh, try to use a function, we have a function in the list set global variable. If we try to use in the same syntax as we have used set variable, it will give us error because it has a different syntax. What you need to do is to use this function. Uh, you need to use a set variable function to make it first of all uh, local, right? And in the next statement, uh, what you can do is set global variable, just pass on the variable name and it will make it global automatically. So after making uh, it global, now you can see both the test cases are passed when we run the test case and test case one uh, here uh, it is passed where in, in test case two if I check in the log the value is printing correctly. So that's all about uh, local and global variables. Thank you for being with us.